Almost 100 years after the company's foundation, Bugatti is once again making automobile news with its latest sports car, the Veyron. A car that sees the Bugatti mark returning to its roots. It is the passion for the arts that runs strong through the genes of the Bugatti family. Carlo, the founder of the Bugatti dynasty, was an artist and designer. His firstborn, Ettore, founded the company that bears the family name. Ettore became famous for his racing cars, which, as well as winning races, have been acknowledged as works of art. He will ultimately be remembered as the designer of the Type 35, which Ettore called a thoroughbred, or pur sang. Jean Bugatti, the son of Ettore, lent a whole generation of Bugattis his elegantly flowing lines. He also introduced the two-tone paintwork. It was Jean who transformed the designs of the 1920s into futuristic Bugatti shapes that live on in today's Veyron. Molsheim, the birthplace and the future of the Bugatti brand. This is where the Veyron is manufactured. All members of the Bugatti family were artists. They merged their artistry with their brand in a way perhaps best captured by the phrase Ettore used for characterizing his products, pur sang, pure blood, absolute clarity, predominance of purpose, immaculate shape. All parts of a Bugatti were committed to this philosophy. Their sum, the car, implied unprecedented technical solutions in many fields. For example, the choice of cast and polished aluminium for frame parts, wheels and brakes was previously unknown in car manufacturing. Today, we are building the Veyron in the same spirit. The use of unusual materials such as titanium and carbon fiber, typically found in the aircraft industry, helps us create a unique work of art. Like all true artifacts, the historic Bugattis were only made in limited numbers. This is part of their appeal, and this is what makes them so special. Of course, the same applies to the Veyron. Good automotive design always is very true to the character of the car and especially the brand. There are three outstanding trademarks in the stylistic genes of the Bugatti Veyron. First, the overall dropping gesture of the main character line. And secondly, the riveted fin running over the whole length of the car. And thirdly, those precious and intriguing reflections that I think would have been very much in the spirit of Jean Bugatti. What helps the car to accelerate is its enormous torque of 1250 newton meters, attained at 2000 revs per minute. The seven gear double clutch gearbox enables you to reach a speed of 100 kilometers an hour in less than 2.5 seconds, 200 kilometers an hour in just over seven seconds, and 300 kilometers an hour in 16.5 seconds. This spoiler is driven out at speeds of over 200 kilometers an hour, also serving as an air brake. Thus, the unique and special spirit that goes into making a Bugatti is just as strong today as it has ever been. And will remain so for years to come.